Hey, what's up YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how I installed this bed rug into my 2022 Ford F-150 Lightning. So first off, this is their brand new version that has like a harder rubber mat down here. A lot of them previously were all just carpet. So it's this material here, which is fine. It wicks water, it doesn't absorb things. It's actually pretty nice. This is my first one and I just really wanted to give it a try. I know there are already a bunch of videos that show you guys how to install this in normal F-150s. None of them, however, are this new version with this harder rubber mat. And also I haven't really seen any videos on how to install it around all of this stuff. So I have the light here, we've got those anchors there, and then I have the uh, power system here. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do all of that. A lot of this honestly was kind of a trial and error thing, but I think it came out pretty nice anyway. But before we get to that, I'll just play the video that Bedrug put up online. It really, the basic part of it, couldn't be any more simpler and they have a three minute video on how to install just the basic part of the bed rug. So I'll play that first and then we'll get into my videos. Bed rug is the most innovative and unique truck bed liner there is. It's custom designed to fit your specific year, make and model. The bed rug works on trucks that have an existing spray in liner or no liner. Remove the bed rug from the box and leave in a warm area to help it flatten. Attach a long piece of hook tape to the top side of the tailgate portion and apply short pieces evenly across the bottom of the same panel. Apply the dual lock tape to the strips on the bed rug, making sure to leave the backing on the adhesive. Starting at the passenger side, use the zipper to attach the floor panel to the front and side panel. Apply short pieces of hook tape to each one of the side panels, making sure to evenly space the tape. Apply short pieces of hook tape evenly across each of the lower strips on the front panel and attach a long piece of hook tape to the top side of the same panel. Before placing the bed rug in the truck bed, be sure to remove all debris and clean the surface with soap and water. For optimal adhesion, be sure the truck bed is above 68 degrees Fahrenheit. Place the bed rug in the bed of the truck making sure to push it forward so that it fits exactly in the corners. Use alcohol to clean all areas where tape will be adhered. If you have a spray in liner, apply the adhesive promoter to all areas where tape will be adhered and allow to dry. Remove the backing from the hook and loop on the floor panel, making sure to leave the hook and loop attached to the bed rug. Press the bed rug firmly into place. Use a utility knife to cut a small slit in the bed rug to allow the tie downs to protrude through. Remove backing from the tape on the front panel and adhere to the front section of the truck bed. If your truck bed had factory bed lights, just cut a hole and trim it to match the shape of your light. Remove the backing from the hook tape on both side panels and press firmly into place. Be sure to clean the tailgate where adhesive will be applied with soap and water. Then use another rag to clean with alcohol. Use adhesive promoter on any plastic surfaces that will have adhesive attached. Do not apply to painted metal. Allow promoter to dry. Remove the backing from the hook tape. Lay the tailgate portion of the liner into place, aligning the top and bottom edges. Press firmly into place. The bed rug installation is now complete. It provides impact and slip resistant protection for your truck bed that can be cleaned with a power washer, hose, or a vacuum. It fills in the ribs and contours of the truck bed to provide a smooth, void-free loading surface that is easy on your knees. If you would like more info or if you have any questions, please visit bedrug.com. All right, so I'm here installing my bed rug bed liner and I wanted to update you guys on a few things that weren't covered in that last video from bed rug. So the corner piece is actually quite easy. All you have to do is first complete the front wall. Let me see if I can get this. So all of that is stuck already. You can see the contour right here and hopefully you can see it. it's really, really bright. Um, but I have the contour right there all and all that's done. And now I'm just trying to get the corner tucked in here correctly. So there's a hook on my lightning right here in the corner. So you can see it right there. I thought about unscrewing that and taking that out and then just trying to maybe put this on the outside of the carpet. 
but my solution seems fine. So I just pushed it up in here, made sure the corner's all tucked, and then I felt where this was, and I took a razor with a brand new sharp blade and just cut there, and then you just push around it, and then it's sticking through. I honestly probably won't even use those all that much. Maybe a couple times a year, but either way, I have access to it right there. So that's how I did that one so far. Now I am on to this one here, and my plan is to remove this piece. I'm gonna to try to find the holes for these screws, put this up in place, and then put the bracket on the outside. I just feel like that'll probably look the best. So that's what I'm gonna do here. I think it'll be fairly easy, but again, this just isn't stuff they covered in that video because all the Fords can be slightly different. And another thing of note is that in a lot of these positions where there is something, I don't know if you can see it with this lighting, but there's an H shaped in here. So I guess if maybe I sliced right here, it might fit. Man, that actually, man, if that is true, if it, if it actually does line up, that might be worth trying. It looks like it does line up, so that would mean I guess a flap would go over top in there, and then the bottom flap would tuck up in through here. You know what? I'm gonna try it. That seems like it would be a lot easier than unscrewing this, trying to find the holes, and if that actually does work, that would be a lot quicker. It'd be a lot nicer, and uh, that, that would be very good to know. All right, I'm gonna give that a try. All right, so I just sliced that opening. I think it's gonna require a little bit of tweaking. Maybe if I cut these corners down a little bit, it'll tuck in there a little easier. I'm gonna give this a try. That, I think, might be a good solution. Because it's really hard to get it tucked up under there. I think I'm, I'm just gonna slice off these corners a little bit. There, so I just turned the corners off to maybe see if I can get this up in here. It's a little wrinkled right here. I think if I got a pick tool to help pull that carpet up a little bit, I think that's actually pretty good. I don't think this is cut high enough though. Just the way this looks, I think I'm gonna have to try to, it's just tough because it's in a corner and it seems like there's so many variables. So I got the corner tucked in there. I have to cut it up probably about a half inch higher. And even if I guess I'm wrong, this is gonna be tucked up there pretty high. So you probably wouldn't really see it. And even if I mess up, only people that are gonna know about it are me and all you guys. You know what? I think that's not too bad. It's kind of hard getting this tucked behind here. There. So there's that, and let me slice this one. See, this one has to come down a little bit too. So just very carefully. I don't want to scratch anything with my razor blade, but I'll cut that down just a little bit. You definitely want to use a brand new blade to make sure it's all straight and you not, not jagged or anything. There, I think that's awesome, I'm happy with that. And if you can see in here, I've got these pieces already stuck in there. I'm gonna have to get some rubbing alcohol to clean that and then I'll just keep moving down the line. I have to hit that and then somehow that and somehow that and that I'm positive will have to get removed. And then I'll just have to, yeah. We'll get to that point here in a minute. <laughs> All right, so I got my Velcro pieces in place as per the instructions. I have this unscrewed here, and in case anybody was curious, it really is a pretty simple setup. Looks like all the wires come right in the bottom. It doesn't have a whole lot of slack, so I can't really move it around much. But for now, what I'm gonna do is just put it back here in place and then when I get this up in place, 
I'll just cut a hole in the center, an X, and uh, we'll get there in a minute. But the more important part that I was hoping to make this a little bit of a cleaner install is I was hoping to remove this light and then just cut a center slit down the hole and then tuck the light back in. I have my little tool here and I just cannot see how it pops out and I really don't want to break anything on my $100,000 truck. Uh, I used to be a car audio installer. I used to work on some pretty high-end cars, but they were usually somebody else's car and we had insurance and I just don't want to break anything. So I'm just gonna try to kind of cut around it and maybe just tuck because there is a little bit of a lip right there that if I could get it on target enough I could possibly tuck the carpet up underneath here and then the switch I gave up on I think I'm just gonna have to <laughs> remember where the switch is and then just tap it through the carpet not ideal but again I just I really don't want to break anything I love this truck and this is what I'm doing. So I hope this helps, but uh, we're gonna wrap this up here on this side. And I still have to do the other side and it's like 101 degrees right now in Ithaca, it's, it's crazy. It's not a game, it's a like a quarter inch that could be tucked up underneath there that probably would keep it a little tighter up in there all right now it is time for the light Maybe even put like a little tape or some kind of marker so I know that it's right here. I know it's just a truck and it's no big deal, but I just want to make sure it's as perfect as possible because it's an expensive truck and it's a nice truck. All right, time to do the other side. All right, the H that was right here on this side didn't line up quite as perfect as on that side but what i did do that i think is really good and i highly recommend is i i just left a quarter inch right here and then i tucked it underneath there using this tool so i just tucked it up there so yeah now i think that's going to hold in a lot better compared to yeah oh yeah i mean look at this one oh i do have some slack there actually uh, down to the top, but well, at least on the bottom, I can slice that a little bit and tuck that up and under. Let me do that right now. Yeah, that's awesome. That's the way to do it right there. 
Just leave a little extra carpet there, then tuck it. I wish I had a little extra carpet at the top there. Well, I hope that helped you guys. If you watched this far into the video, I do have some bonus footage for you. Unfortunately, I made a mistake and I bought the wrong cover here. This is an undercover SE hard tonneau cover. I love the style, I love the way it looks. I bought this actually way back in January of 2022, this year, anticipating this truck's arrival. Unfortunately, I didn't realize they changed the bed in 2021. So the back of this does not fit. So it's a huge bummer that I have this big, nice, expensive cover and it doesn't fit my truck. Um, so if anybody has a, I think 2015 to 2020 Ford F-150, let me know. I'll, uh, I'll lose some money, but I, I need to sell this thing so I can buy the correct one. It, it does work for now, but I'm actually rubbing on the edge. I, I'm gonna take this off my truck today because it's just rubbing after just driving around for probably 10, 15 miles today. It just, the tailgate is a different shape. So that's a big bummer. But anyways, if you're interested in this, let me know. Otherwise do the typical YouTube stuff, like, share, subscribe, all that. <laughs> Thanks a lot. See you later.